Uh, today we will discuss few more math tricks which could be handy for day to day calculation at your work or at your school. So uh, first uh, math uh, trick uh, is uh, about uh, the rule of 72. So what is the rule of 72? So suppose uh, if you want uh, to double your investment and uh, the rate of uh, return is 10%. So suppose you are getting 10% annual return on your investment. So how long will it take for you to double your money? So all you need to do is divide 72 by 10 and that will be equal to 7.2 years. So this is just an approximation because uh, when you are uh, talking to someone and uh, you just want to get the approximate value. So this is a very good way. Obviously for uh, accurate numbers you need to do uh, calculations. But uh, if you just want to get an approximation then this is a very quick way to do this. So suppose if uh, the rate of uh, interest is 20% then it will take you 72 divided by 20 is equal to. 3.6 years to double your money so this is approximately right if you do the calculations it is approximately right so this is what we have or what we call rule of 72 so the second metric is the rule of one hundred and fifteen so this rule is again same as we have rule of 72 but here we are talking about uh, tripling your money so uh, if you want to uh, invest and you have a 10% uh, rate of interest then in 115 divided by 10 is equal to 11.5 years it will take you to make your money three times so if you invest hundred dollars it will become three hundred dollars in 11.5 year if the rate of interest is 10% and same way if it's uh, 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 more uh, if like it's uh, uh, 20 percent then uh, it would be 115 divided by 20 that is equal to 6.5 uh, uh, and uh, no, 6.725 years so this is a approximation uh, you can do when you want to triple your uh, investment so then third we have is the uh, rule of 70 so now what is the rule of 70 so suppose if we have uh, inflation so inflation means that everything is getting more expensive and suppose you have money uh, at your home which is not invested so how much time will it take for your money to become half of its value so suppose if you wanna if you buy something for hundred dollars today then uh, because uh, everything is getting expensive every day so eventually a time will come when that uh, thing will be two hundred dollars but your money because it's lying at home will remain at hundred dollar value so your money become half of the value so how long does it take for money uh, to become half of the value so that will be rule of 70 so suppose uh, uh, if you uh, want to see uh, how long will it so if if the rate of inflation is 7% so this is inflation then uh, it will take you uh, 70 divided by 7 equal to 10 years for your money to become half so money value equal to half so uh, so you can do uh, this in an accurate way by doing this 1.07 this to power 10 and if you see that will be approximately equal to uh, 0 0.5 so uh, it it takes around uh, uh, 10 years uh, if uh, the inflation is 7 percent for money to be half and same way if it, the inflation is uh, uh, 14 percent then it will take you 70 divided by 14 is equal to five years 
so this is what we have or we call rule of 115 so uh, these were the rules now uh, uh, another thing suppose uh, if uh, you want to hire a person and uh, you want to pay him uh, annual salary or otherwise you can if you are interviewing a, uh, for a position and they tell you that okay we are paying you uh, fifty thousand dollars a year and you want to quickly uh, approximate okay how much does it give me every hour so that rule is very simple all you need to do is divide it by 2000 so if you divide 50000 by 2000 that will give you uh, 25 dollars per hour so that will be your hourly salary and how did i come up with this number because approximately there are 2000 hours per year so because uh, we take around two weeks of vacation so or uh, we are, i'm just saying two weeks of vacation but uh, this uh, if you add up the vacation and it's approximately very close to 2000 but anyways otherwise also the number of uh, hours per year is approximately 2000 uh, working hours and uh, so that is a quick way to get approximation of how much you are getting paid hourly so same way if you are getting 70000 a year that means you are getting 35 35 uh, dollars per hour so that's uh, another uh, quick uh, calculation that you can do uh, to get some approximation now we have uh, another uh, rule uh, which is uh, uh, about uh, dividing so this one is a little uh, tricky but uh, uh, you can always show it to your friends and uh, it does amaze a uh, few people it may not be very useful into day to day life but let me show you so if you want to divide something by 7 so let's do 1 by 7 so if you divide 1 divided by 7 that will be equal to 1 0 0.142857 right so suppose so you can see there are several numbers in this so suppose if you want to divide it by 2 by 7 then all you need to do is uh, instead of choosing 1 you take the second smallest number in this number the second smallest number is 2 so all we do is I say 0 and I say 2 8 5 7 1 4 so I started my number from here I went this side and then I put 4 here uh, and 1 also here so I just move the sequence so if you do it again let's do it 3 by 7 so in this case I will look at the uh, third smallest number so third smallest number is uh, 4 in this case so I will start with 4 2 8 5 7 1 so that is the answer so you can keep doing this for other numbers so that's one of the trick uh, which uh, sometimes uh, if you show to your friends or uh, just uh, show to your kids uh, it could be something which can uh, amaze them and uh, finally there is a one more trick uh, and that's that trick is about uh, uh, dividing so so for example let's uh, say if we have a number called uh, 636363 and we want to uh, uh, so this is a repeating decimal and we want to convert into the fraction so all I need to do is uh, I look at uh, this uh, number 63 so 63 is the two digit number so I'll put 63 divided by 99 I put two digit in the two nines in the bottom and uh, suppose if we have the same thing 0 0.787 787 so all I need to do is write 787 divided by 3 nines in the decimal in the denominator and that will give me the fraction so that's uh, another uh, quick way uh, to get uh, the uh, fractions so same way suppose if we have 0 0.111111 so the answer is very easy 1 divided by 9 
so although uh, this might be little helpful uh, as uh, you can see um, uh, we do have a uh, uh, lot of calculation we do have one divided by nine and that is a quick way to do the calculations or get approximation so uh, i hope uh, this uh, tutorial will help and uh, i'll see you next time